violation ticket. We live in a place where everything from dog shampoo to, to Zamboni blades are all registered and regulated. Do you think these violation tickets, there's not a, a statute out there governing their use? There is, and you can't find a violation ticket act. A violation ticket is, in fact, a bill of exchange. It's just like a check, almost. It's an unconditional order in writing addressed by one person to another, signed by the person giving it, requiring the person to whom it is addressed to pay upon a demand or at a fixed or determinable time a sum certain in money to or to the order of a third party or the bearer. Sounds like a big complicated thing. It's not. Look at the bill of exchange or at your violation ticket. Every little element of that bill of exchange is found there. Here's what they want you to do. They want to say, here's your ticket, you sign the original, they keep the original, they give you a copy, now go to court, pay up or go to court. Under the Bills of Exchange Act, let's suppose for a moment, you're in a restaurant, when a waitress comes and gives you a bill after you've eaten your meal, that is a bill of exchange. If she signed it and presents it to you, she's not getting paid herself, you're going to pay upon demand a third party. It's a bill of exchange. Now let's suppose for a second, the waitress puts down this bill, and you go to pick it up, and she goes, you can't do that. You've got to sign the back of that bill so I can take it over to these bouncers. They can come over and beat you up for refusing to pay for it. And you say, what the heck kind of restaurant is this? No, I'm not doing that. I'm not into getting beat up. I want to pick up that bill. And they won't let you have that bill. Do you owe anything? No. No one can claim you owe them anything unless they present you with the bill. This is what the government is doing with their, with their violation tickets. Cop pulls you over, they offer you a chance to hold the bill and sign it. If you refuse to sign it, they'll say, okay, you've dishonored it, and they'll sign the back, I offered you a chance to sign it. Under the Bills of Exchange Act, if I present you with a bill, you sign it and give it back to me, you have just dishonored a bill of exchange. You didn't pay for it, you didn't get a receipt, I created it, it was in your possession, I can prove that with your signature, now it's back in my possession, you're in dishonor. That was my bill you dishonored. What they want you to do is dishonor it by signing it. The way to deal with it is to label that, that instrument as a bill of exchange. Tell them I recognize that as a bill of exchange and I'm accepting your presentment. No argument, no nothing, go ahead, give it to me. I want the original. If they refuse to give you the original, and they will refuse to give you the original, because without that original in their possession, they have no reason to go to court. Without that in, in their possession, they've got no court. If you offer to accept it, and they refuse, they'll say, well, what, you, you don't want to sign it? Why should I dishonor your bill of exchange? I'm open to you presenting the original. If they fail to do that, they impose the blue copy. You take that blue copy to a notary public. The bill was never duly presented. He's claiming that he did. You would have them stamp it protest for lack of presentment. You send that off to the third party, the Minister of Finance. They now have three days under the Bill of Exchange Act to either prove, uh, establish that it was in fact presented to you or to represent it. If they don't do that in that period of time, guess who's liable for the bill? The cop who endorsed it. Just like the waitress in a restaurant who created a bill, charged someone for lobster when they didn't even have it. You put it in the system, you have to pay for it. People who are doing this now when they tell the pol police officers, yeah, that's a bill of exchange and I'm uh, accepting your offer and uh, I want the original. Boom, they're closing that book and they're pulling out another book with warnings. And they're giving people all these warnings saying, well, I've already run your name through the computer. I've got to do something here, so I'm going to give you a warning. Thank <laughs> you.